Hi guys, good morning. Um, I did a survey last night on Facebook where I went ahead and uh, I asked uh, the public to vote for who would be the next president of the Philippines. I know it's some time away, I know it's next May, and of course this isn't an accurate survey by any means. I don't claim it to be accurate, and of course it's been very hard to tally up the results. Basically, um, I asked a question, who would be the next 17th president of the Philippines? Would it be A, Indai Sara Duterte? Would it be B, Bongbong Marcos? Or would it be C, uh, Bongo? Or would it be D, Other? Um, and, uh, you know, I've calculated the results on pages and pages of a, a paper with, with ticks, with lines, and then I've crossed them off to make sure they're, um, they're accurate. Uh, as I said, this is not uh, meant to be scientific. Uh, all of the information is on my Facebook page, so you're welcome to go ahead and look on my Facebook wall at Malcolm Conlon. You're welcome to tally up all of the results yourself. Uh, it's kind of been quite, it, basically, it, it, this survey shows that the majority of people voting have voted for Mayor Indai Sara Duterte. Uh, in fact, I calculated 520 of the 890 people who voted, voted for Sara Duterte as first choice. Now, sometimes people said either Sara or BBM. And where they've said Sara or BBM, that's Bong Bong Marcos, uh, I've given a vote to both of them. So that means the, the number of votes don't entirely tally up. And where people have said Bong Bong Marcos's first choice, I've given it to Bong Bong Marcos and not to Sara Duterte, and vice versa, where Sara Duterte has become first choice and Bong Bong Marcos's second choice. I've given it to Sara Duterte because we're not looking at the vice president, we're only looking at the president. Then there are two or three people who said Lenny, and of course I've given marks for that as well. There's about 15 people who've said uh, uh, Bongo, two or three people said Pacquiao, and those people who said any, obviously I can't really kind of include them in the vote, if you like, because they're, they come down as undecided. Uh, I don't really have the ability, if you like, to do an accurate scientific survey. Uh, but from the tallying up that I've done, uh, it is quite clear that in first place is Indai Sara Duterte with 520 votes. In second place is Bong Bong Marcos with 233 votes. That's 750. Uh, there's a C. Uh, which is um, Bongo, uh, that's 765, and then D it makes 10, 770, and the rest of them are undecided, or they say all, or, or, or so. So realistically, it shows that, I guess, um, two-thirds of the people who voted have, um, have voted for Indai Sara Duterte. Now, this was a bit of a spoof survey. As I said, it's not really based on on science but then you could say that about the smart magic either that's not really based on science either but basically you can see there's a passion for Mayor Indai Sara Duterte to run uh, I don't know if she will run I've said that she said that she probably wouldn't um, but whether she does or not this is not asking her to run this is just saying that the overwhelming majority of the people who've casted the vote uh, are really interested in uh, Indai Sara Duterte running. So some of them have said if Indai Sara Duterte doesn't run, then of course we'll give our vote to Bong Bong Marcos. So in that case, I've ticked Bong Bong Marcos, assuming that Indai Sara Duterte won't run. Uh, as I said, this is a bit of a, a spoof survey. Um, it, it's it, You are welcome to check the results yourself. You're welcome to tally it up on Facebook. And I imagine you'll probably get one or two votes extra for Sarah Duterte that I've missed off. You might even get one or two votes extra for um, uh, Bongbong Marcus. As I said, there's been two or three people who've said none of them. We want Lenny. 
And of course, I'll mention that within this and I respect that, but the overwhelming majority uh, seem to be going for Indai Sara Duterte. Uh, why is that? You know, I watched her in a Senate hearing where she was talking about her appointment as a, a colonel in the Armed Forces of the Philippines, the Reserve uh, Armed Forces. And, you know, she's really got, uh, she's, she was polite, she was diplomatic, she was making sure that she included the views of all of the mayors. She was asked a question uh, about a particular festival uh, in Davao, and she said she would consult with all of the various mayors and all of the government officials. This shows that she's not really going to make decisions without including others or thinking about others and that she's really taking time. She was polite. She's engaging. You know, I met her at, at a breakfast meeting and, you know, when she walked into the room, she really had that presence. She really had that. I don't know how to say this, but you could feel that she was in c command of the situation. You could feel that she was. How am I going to put this? You could see that she was a person who would do very well in, in meeting others, in diplomacy, in engaging with others. She took time to speak to each of us. She was very polite. She was very kind. Uh, and, you know, that's what I can say that I, I think, I know she said she wouldn't run, but if she was going to run, I think she would make a uh, fantastic president. And uh, a lot of people are saying daughter, i.e. that they want father to run first and then daughter, or even they would want both of them to run together. People have said they want Sarah to run as president and her father to run as vice president. There are also people who say that Bong Bong Marcos should run and he should continue the family legacy and that he obviously is a very experienced politician as well. Obviously, the family have been in politics for a long time and he knows about the country and uh, knows uh, the, the situation of what's happening in the Philippines. Um, but as I can see, you know, some people have said Bongo as well and they know Bongo. Maybe they're not even sure if Bongo would run. But, you know, for me, Bongo is a is a very uh, uh, learned person. You know, he's been with President Duterte now for a long time. He's, he's a businessman. He's very diplomatic. He's been involved in many different meetings. He's done so much in terms of philanthropy, etc. And I believe, again, he would make a very cool, calm, collected and precise leader, but I just don't think that he's going to run in this time. So as I said, you're welcome to see the survey results. They're on my Facebook wall, uh, my Malcolm Conlon Facebook wall. Uh, at the moment, there's 890 people who've uh, voted. I'm sure we're probably easily going to get to a thousand, if not more. This started last night. It slowed down a lot, which is why I've gone ahead and I've done this already. So there we go. That's the... Uh, that's the end results. Uh, it looks as though from the mini survey that I did that Mayor Indai Sara Duterte uh, is the popular vote or the popular choice. Thanks very much for watching. And any money that I do make from this video, because obviously I'm monetized now, uh, would definitely go to a charity in the Philippines and a charity that's going to help people back home in the Philippines. I'm not doing this video to make money or anything like that, uh, other than to maybe contribute towards um, towards charity. So I would ask that you share this video. And of course, you like this video as well. Thanks very much. Thanks.